Hey guys, what's up? Corey here. Uh, 2017 is coming to a close, and I thought I'd make a quick update for you guys. And uh, mostly about the progress on the Tehachapi Loop module. So let's see what's uh, going on with it. A couple things I've done, and uh, a couple things I shouldn't have done. So without further ado, let's take a look at it. Okay, guys. Here it is, the world famous Tehachapi Loop in N scale. Uh, this is a modular section that I've been building. Um, if you guys are not familiar with it, I'll bring you up to speed. It's eight feet wide and ooh, damn, that guy was going fast now. Okay, so eight feet wide and five foot three inches in width from where I'm standing to that wall. Um, as far as the track here, it is 23 inch radius on the outer and about 22 on the inner with the uh, scale track spacing of about 13 feet. That way my auto racks don't uh, bump each other. So I don't know if you guys recall um, I did another update a couple weeks back, I think it was, maybe. Bought some plywood that was a little too thin and thought I could get away with it, which was a really dumb move on my part, and I take full responsibility of being a dumbass. Um, I don't know what I was thinking, but, well, wait, I wasn't thinking. So, I went out and bought myself a half inch uh, sheet of plywood. Um, I used those sections that I already had and used those as templates. Uh, one viewer suggested just um, lay the half inch plywood over what I already had laid out, which was a pretty good idea, but after more thought, um, I wasn't too happy with the, the grade that I have. So I ended up. Um, so I ended up taking everything off um, and using those as templates. So I traced them out on a piece of half inch plywood, cut them out, and this is what I got now. So I ended up having to redo the grade. So where we're at right now is between two and two and a half percent grade. Um, I think I had before it was like three, which was a little too steep, not too realistic looking. But, uh, you know, all in all, it's coming out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm um, sticking with my, my Woodland Scenics foam track bed because I did buy two 24 foot rolls of it, so. I really don't want to waste the money, but I will be using a cork for underneath the switches, just so we don't have any problems. All right, so I ducked underneath, and I'm here in the cutout section, and uh, here we are. What's going to be tunnel number nine? So, really, the way I did my grade. I started from point one there, uh, measured two feet, four feet, six feet, and so on. So basically a two percent grade. And every two feet you raise about a half inch. Um, what you're seeing here is not right. I was just messing around. But basically, um, so we go up the grade here, all the way around. Uh, I left my track bed undone here because I don't have any switches yet. And I want to make sure I get my, well, you know, everything correct as far as uh, laying my road bed down. So we got to have my switches to continue. 
but we will keep going around so two percent grade well more like two and a half but nice and steady nice even spacing with my road bed and we got a nice straight runway to my kind of weird curve here I don't know if you guys are familiar with the loop but there's a switch there um, it goes into a little I don't know I want to say a little tiny storage rack for uh, maintenance away equipment and stuff like that so keep going around here and again still need my switches to complete the road bed I uh, could have done a lot more just been busy and I also do plan on doing the tunnel 10 bypass um, which I think would be pretty cool so all right here it's gonna be like a two to one slope going from uh, here down and of course the, uh, the ranch area here and we have Broom Road which I don't recommend taking if you're going sightseeing um, last time I uh, happened upon that road the guy chased me down on a quad and was like what the heck are you doing here and I was like I'm just trying to watch some trains yeah, yeah. so I recommend going around um, the other way <laughs> So, you know, after they do the Tunnel 10 bypass, they don't really want people there and a lot of warning signs and stuff. It's not like it used to be back when I used to visit there when I was a kid, but. So, we'll move around to uh, the other side over here. Right here is going to be the mountains, um, which I made my little rail fanning trip. I literally sat up in those hills for geez I don't know how many hours filming the loop from this vantage point kinda like that just in a much larger scale so from here we kinda level out and at this point right here I start my 2% grade down as you can see I kind of been playing around with the curves here seeing how my uh, auto racks look not too bad but that's, that's all I'm gonna get we only got so much room so from that point we come down and uh, I'm not sure I might make it double track all the way down I haven't decided yet but from this point on all the way back down home basically from the point of origin and yes there is enough clearance not much but there is clearance so there's the point of origin and if you guys don't know let me move my notes out of the way here this is going to be an extension of my Mojave subdivision layout so I'm going to continue this I'm going to restore my yard tracks and my main line it's going to be some engine house activity um, so it's going to make a exit stage left and there's going to have to be a little bridge between the two so I don't think there'll be a problem um, probably make it a lift out or removable that way if I need to uh, move the layouts around or away from the wall or access the back for any reason I can do so and I do have felt pads on the bottom of all the legs so I'm very lucky that I have this kind of flooring here everything slides pretty good so you know it shouldn't be a problem but as with anything you'll run into stuff 
You just got to work through it. So basically, that is the update on the loop as of right now. The last day of 2017. Uh, it's been one hell of a project here. You know, as I'm working on this layout, or the loop module, I should say, I'm looking over here and I'm like, kind of feeling bad leaving this part out. What I really should be doing is uh, restoring this back to where it was, but you know, when you get excited about stuff, this is kind of like my dream layout here. So let's see where it goes. All right, guys. So that's the update on the uh, loop as of right now. Um, I just wanted to reflect on the last six months I've been uploading on this channel. Um, I've had the channel itself for since 2010, so quite a quite a long time, and uh, you know it's been pretty amazing. The community on YouTube, the model railroad community. Um, it's really been way more than I expected. I've met a lot of cool people, you know, chatting with a lot of cool people, um, uploading my videos and just having a good time, enjoying watching everybody's stuff, you know, like, I can't wait to watch everybody's videos. It's really cool. You know, I get excited about it and it's very, very cool. So what I'm kind of trying to say is that I'm very grateful for each and every one of you subscribers. It's so awesome that you take time out of your day to watch my stuff. And uh, I'm approaching 1,000 subscribers, which is amazing. Never would have thought that. Um, I'm up to like one, or I'm sorry, yeah, one. Uh, 860, I'm sorry, I got to check. Oh, I'm sorry, 869. Oh, that's a good number. But uh, I do plan on doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway, so hit that like button and subscribe. But if you don't like the video, don't leave a thumbs down. I, I can't understand why people leave thumbs down. I watch awesome videos all the time, and there's just like hundreds and hundreds of thumbs down about like, like, for instance, a guy helping an old lady cross the street. Yeah, thumbs down. Stop leaving thumbs down. Uh, down, 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 down. All right, well, that's about it. That's it for uh, 2017 for KRP Models. You guys take care and do yourself a favor. Don't drink and drive. Seriously. A PSA from KRP Models. Don't drink and drive. So I will come over and find your ass I'll probably have a beer with I'm kidding